As I record this video today, we are, I believe, 48 days away until Election Day, November 3rd, 2020. And I am increasingly alarmed that no one is calling foul on the nominee of the Democrat Party for president. Now, I shared on my own personal radio program yesterday at News Radio 1310 KLIX right here in beautiful downtown Idaho. I shared some comments from Kamala Harris where she said, in the Harris administration, which obviously is a Freudian slip, but it shows you exactly what's going on really behind the scenes in the Democrat Party, Joe Biden would be nothing more than a figurehead. How mainstream media is allowing this man to continue when he's obviously in the throes of dementia or Alzheimer's is beyond me. They, they, their Trump hatred is so great, they can ignore things like this. This came out of Mr. Biden's mouth during a campaign appearance in Tampa, Florida. Because if you could take care, if you were a quartermaster, you can sure and help take care of running a, you know, a department store uh, thing, you know, where in the second floor of the ladies' department, or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, what the heck does that mean? Joe Biden is a dummy. <laughs> Something's not right there, folks, and it hasn't been right for a number of years. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand, and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn that 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 turn. Uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They'd look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. <laughs> and I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Joe Biden is a dummy. I don't know that I'd want any of my children jumping on his lap. Uh, clearly, though, he probably wouldn't even know that he wasn't anything different than a trampoline at this stage of his life. And I don't mean to mock people who've gone through this. I've seen it in members of my own family. But they weren't running for president of the United States. This is the guy who will have the nuclear trigger at his, uh, his fingertips, which he's usually got all over the necks and shoulders of young women. We, we have a serious crisis in this country, and it's not Donald Trump. I read a great piece yesterday from uh, the Canadian writer Conrad Black, who said that Mr. Trump is probably in the top five to seven American presidents when it comes to first-term accomplishments. And then he actually cited them. He, he rattled them off. So if these are not made up. You could probably find that. There was a link at Real Clear Politics that was Tuesday morning, I believe, uh, today being Wednesday. But I'm telling you, if we don't get this thing settled and get it settled soon, this guy Biden in the White House, well, let me just point out, if they take the Senate as well and keep the House, they will quickly add states, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, there'll be four new U.S. senators. They will have a filibuster-proof majority. They don't even need to add, I was told yesterday by a former prosecutor, uh, they don't need to add seven or six Supreme Court justices. They're pretty much going to be able to do whatever they please. And he said, they'll put a big tax on your gasoline, and there's just not much you're going to be able to do about it. All this talk that we would throw off the tyranny, with what? That's the question. Anyway, got to run. Uh, if you like our videos, my name is Bill Colley, of course, and along with my business partner, Jake Smith, we host Boardwalk Potatoes. If you like the videos, click on the subscribe button at the top of the page, and you can also leave us comments if there's anything you'd like us to speak about or perhaps not speak about. Uh, please feel free to do that.